guardian for all as well. Checking on you guys. I'm out for my evening stroll. Uh, on my way to my daughter's house. Um, I just wanted to check and see what you guys were doing. See me masked up, right? Uh, you know what? I lucked up and found some shields, some face shields. I'm waiting on them to come next. I found some parts out. I found some face shields. I bought me a bike. I bought me some roller skates. Um, and one of those big, um, those ropes that they use for exercising. Yep, I bought one of them too. I'm trying to get busy for the summer. I don't care what people be outside doing this summer. Uh, I'm going to be in the house or in my yard. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, so, um, just came to chat with you guys. Uh, see what's going on in the world. Let's see. So, um, Donald Trump's valet park, parker, right? And also the dude that served him his food has coronavirus, right? Uh, can you say that the Virus, coronavirus is getting closer and closer and closer um, to him meeting his fate. Um, I heard him said he would he want all of the warriors to go to work, you know, and some will risk their lives uh, to save the economy. Get out there and go to work, right? I think when he said that, he made more of my fucking people want to stay in the house. <laughs> I really do. I really believe when Donald Trump told everybody to go out there and go to work um, and die, you know, uh, be a candidate for catching coronavirus, that um, that he actually made more people want to stay in the goddamn house. I know I did. Shit. It, it's just sad. It's sad. It's sad. It's sad. It's, it's, it's getting worse by the seconds. Hold on for a minute. Mm -hmm. I'm here. I'm just doing something. That's all. But uh, I don't get it though. You know, this motherfucker really wants people to go outside and uh, you know, uh, go on the front line and die. To say so he can um, still play golf and uh, make money off of the uh, economy, and then like I was looking right. I'm glad the feds is on the point, right? Because the feds is catching all his cronies who um, who's stealing this money, this stimulus package money, right? A lot of them connected to Jared Kushner, Kushner, whatever his name is. Go figure, right? So, um, I don't know. And then, and then um, he he just got his um, boy out of jail. Boy got to get out of jail free card. Uh, what's his name? Flint. And then and then he got the other one getting ready to come out too. I'm like, damn, this world, you know? Yeah, the world. I think the world is coming to an end. Yeah, yeah. Anytime um, we got a president who um, do evil, or or let's say do um, who allows um, criminals to be pardoned the way he do, and then he still got all of these brothers and sisters. Uh, in these prisons still locked up, right? Catching coronavirus and dying, right? This is, this, this whole country, you know, I'm just, to me, to be honest, I'm just happy um, to be alive every day to bear witness to this, right? I'm really glad that I can bear witness to Babylon's throne coming all the way down. Compliments of Donald Trump sad situation, right? But, um, you know, 
They keep saying all oh, the black American, African Americans is dying disproportionately and all this shit, right? Well, I'm in Delaware. Um, I think it's one sister that returned here, right? Other than that, everybody is doing well. But I don't like the fact that um, our fucking governor, right? He want he want to follow Georgia and shit and be sneaky. Um, opening up salons and sporting goods. What the fuck they go? So this is the thing. If you open up the sporting goods, then that's going to give them the green light to go out there in the woods. Um, hunting and, you know, um, gathering around each other. Just um, passing off that shit, right? Anyway, I was... Um, I'm like, I can't make this shit up, right? Really can't make this shit up. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I think it's doomsday for America, though. And, uh, you know, I heard my brother speak about it. But before he even spoke about it, I was doing the knowledge to these um, two-inch long Asian hornets that has arrived, that came, just popped out of the blue in America. Um, killing off the bees and shit, right? Um, I don't know. I think war, I think we at war right now. It's just silent. Um, but in a minute, it'll start sounding like the 4th of July. Maybe around the 4th of July, to be exact. It may um, be the 4th of July. Because I don't care what nobody say. I think China did this shit on purpose. Um, it's becoming more and more evident uh, by the days that um, this, even if it wasn't purposely, um, they're taking advantage of it, right? But I can't even get mad with, um, I can't get mad with China, right? Because the simple fact, this motherfucker, you know, y'all you, let 80% of our, um, supplies come from either China or India you know you read what you saw I think right I was looking at this guy I forgot his name but um once I figure once I get his name again I will um put you guys down on him but um he he's predicting right he's a financial dude look at this shit the goddamn tattoo salon open um parlor open who the fuck going in there and get a tattoo um with the coronavirus going on. Wow. Can't make it up. Anyway, he was predicting, he was like, you know how um he think that um this will be the end of uh capitalistic America, right? And uh I think so too. I think by the time we actually get all this shit together and get back to um what we call the norm, it, it'll be done equally, equally. And see, uh, they ain't telling you their numbers. They're not really telling you their numbers, right? They trying to be slick. They keep putting us as the face on there. They didn't tell us how many of them motherfuckers dead yet, right? <laughs> but I'm quite sure um, whatever our numbers are, there's probably triple, uh, especially, you know, their elders. Uh, it's just, you know, and, and, and the thing is, you know, these people don't have a soul. These people don't have a soul. And the way they carry on about, um, you know, not giving a fuck about life is just mind-boggling. Very mind-boggling. Uh, but I'm telling you, um, I'm just waiting on the day somebody say Mitch McConnell got coronavirus. Um... Donald Trump and Mike Pence, right? I'm going to create a new goddamn dance. Watch. Because uh, something needs to be done about them. I'm serious. Something really needs to be done about them. There's no way. But see, now I was doing the knowledge like um, Nebraska, Wyoming, places like that or like hot spots like New York, you know, we calming down, but, um, them motherfuckers there is, um, their, um, numbers are going up. 
what I say. I told you in those rural areas, um, it's getting ready to be fucked up. They're getting ready to be real messed up. Then I was looking at um how they kill all the Indians. You know, they already murdered all the Indian Native Americans uh when they got here. So they just made sure they just made sure that the rest of their number numbers just dwindle, right? Um, it's so bad where the Native Americans is at. They put a roadblock so you can't get in or out. So basically, they um, they had these people confined where, you know, they can't get out and they can't. And then they just like, suppose, they were supposed to give them, I think, six, seven billion dollars um, for a relief, for the relief package, stimulus package. And um, they ain't get it yet. They just get well. I, they they claim they was gonna get it yesterday. I don't know. And um, this is crazy. This is mind boggling. It really is. Uh, yeah, but I just wanted to touch bases with you guys. And um, like I said, I'm on my evening stroll. And um, probably come back later on this evening and do a video. Till then, keep the vibrations high. And I will build with you soon. Peace.